So C Clark and McDermott have sort of set the ground for, for bringing off a rising, but they're very effective revolutionaries. They don't believe it's necessary for them to do everything themselves. So they set up a military council, and this military council will be the body which will actually bring through the planning of the Easter Rising. And the first figures who joined that military rising are Patrick Pierce, um, Joseph Plunkett, and Eamon Kant. So Patrick Pierce is in many respects uh, representative of how the rising comes to be seen after 1916. Um, the, he becomes the public face of the Easter Rising um, because of his role as president of the uh, Republic and as chief signatory and so on. But Pierce is also a very important figure in terms of uh, representing one of the ideological strands that comes together to make up the Easter Rising. So we've seen that Connolly and Clark represent um, physical force Fenianism. Pierce represents another movement, which is kind of romantic nationalism. And in fact, in Patrick Pierce's sort of life story, you can see a shift from uh, from cultural nationalism, from the importance of language and so on, to uh, a more revolutionary physical force politics. So Pierce is uh, born in Dublin in 1879. His father, his father um, James, had been a stonemason and a sculptor. So Pierce is from a sort of a lower middle class um, background. Um, much of his early career was devoted towards to cultural activities, um, particularly as an Irish language activist within the Gaelic League, uh, and also as a school teacher um, in St. Enda's, his own school, which he set up to uh, promote his, his, his values of cultural nationalism and his ideas about um, f physical force and the revival of, of Irish uh, identity. Um, and although Pierce is sometimes depicted as a very irrational um, figure. In many ways he represents forces that are that are really very dominant in pre-war Europe, a kind of romantic nationalism, a kind of belief in the importance of fighting for nationhood, the, the, uh, the importance of, of dying for one's beliefs and so on. So in, in that way he, he actually reflects uh, much wider um, currents um, in, in, in pre-war Europe. Um, in terms of his own political, his own personal outlook, Pierce um, draws together a quite uh, d um, diverse range of influences. He's very I influenced by his own reading of Catholicism and Christianity. He's hugely interested in the power of myth. Um, he draws on, for example, the story of Christ, and we can see with the Easter Rising itself, the, the parallels, you know, the, the self-sacrifice and redemption at Easter. But he's also hugely influenced b by the um, Celtic sagas and myths. And Cuchulain is one of the, the other figures that, that, that Pierce is drawn to, the, the, the strength and also the, the tradition of, of what uh, Cuchulain stands for. Uh, and you can see Pierce in his own life, in his school, in his various activities, particularly with Nafina Aaron, preaching this kind of set of values of nationalism, Celtic myths, um, and, and, and militarism, which come together um, very much um, in his own you know, personal outlook. Um, now, Pierce uh, initially supported home rule, at least from a kind of tactical point of view in 1913, but he makes it clear that if home rule isn't implemented, that Irish people have the right to adopt more militant methods. So in this sense, he can be seen as someone who, who, whose own personal radicalism reflects what's going on in 1913 to 1916. So the Ulster volunteers are arming themselves, the Irish volunteers emerge and arm themselves um, also. So he, he, he's representative figure um, in, in that respect. Um, Pierce joins the Irish Volunteers um, from, from the outset. At this point, he's not a key figure within Fenianism, but he, the Fenians quickly become interested in him because he's a very effective mouthpiece for a kind of a, a revolutionary nationalist rhetoric. Um, Pierce joins the IRB at some point in 1913, um, and by 1914, he becomes the Irish Volunteers Director of Military Organisation. And as such, that makes him a very useful figure to join the military council because the main aim is, to, is for the military council to orchestrate the volunteers as part of the Easter Rising that will take place in 1916.